Welcome back everyone or welcome here if you haven't been here before my name is Matt I'm the day trader next door and I'm going to tell you how I day trade every day for a living without ever having to pick stocks now I see stock traders and they've got their scanners up every morning they're looking at them and they're going through the list of the big movers and they could be trading stocks that they've never traded before on any given day maybe tomorrow they trade something they've never traded before Maybe today they trade something they've never traded before or rarely trade. They don't really know the instrument very well. They're just going on a pattern. Now that works fine for a lot of people, but to me, it's just an awful lot more trouble than it needs to be. I hold stocks, but I trade futures. And I'm going to tell you why they make an awful lot more sense to me. In my opinion, stocks are just built to be held for a longer period of time than futures. Futures by design are better to trade intraday. There are thousands of stocks there is only a handful of good futures contracts to trade, but that means you can really get to know a market and how it works, how it behaves, how it behaves on news, how much it generally moves in a day, what levels is it sensitive to, how it behaves at certain levels. You can actually have, get a really good understanding of that market. If you're trading something like the S&P E-mini or crude oil or treasury bonds, there is tremendous liquidity. You can get in and out any time of the day at pretty much whatever price you want. The spread is one tick. There's plenty of volume. If the market's really moving in the ES, the S&P E-mini, you may get slipped one tick, maybe two, but that rarely ever happens. Most of the time, I get zero slippage at all. A contract like the ES is extremely scalable. You can trade one contract or 10 or 100 with essentially the same ease during the New York market hours. There's a much lower capital requirement for futures than stocks. The other thing is a pattern day trading rule. Now in Canada, some of our brokers observe that, some don't. But in the US, I know a lot of them do. So if you want to day trade, you either need to have 25,000 in your account, or you have to go with an offshore broker. Low commissions. I know some stock accounts are zero commission. The people I know that are trading stocks professionally, they pay commission to get good execution. Futures, you get good execution anyway, for a very minimal fee. In the S&P Mini, it's anywhere from about one quarter to one half of a tick per contract. And perhaps the biggest thing, you get an awful lot more bang for your buck in futures. And I'm going to explain that through an illustration. We're going to assume that you have a $5,000 account. Not everybody has that. If you only have $500, divide all the numbers by 10. For the sake of this comparison, we're going to assume that we're trading either Tesla stock, and picking Tesla because it moves, and because it's very liquid. Again, I'm assuming $5,000, but if you only have a $500 account, just divide all the numbers by 10. And instead of trading one E-mini contract, you trade one micro E-mini contract. So you've got $5,000. You've got three to one margin in your stock account. So that gives you $15,000 of buying power. You wanna buy Tesla at $600 a share, $15,000 is gonna get you 25 shares. So we're going to buy Tesla at $600 and sell it at $610. We want to catch $10 and move it in Tesla. So you're going to take that trade. That trade is going to take up your entire $5,000. Plus, you're going to borrow $10,000 from your broker. So your account is locked up in that one trade. You can't do anything else. That's ratcheted right to the max. Say that trade's a winner. You're going to make $10 a share on 25 shares. You're going to make $250. You caught a $10 move in a $600 stock. That's about a 1.7% move in the stock. Now we're going to look at the futures. You got a $5,000 account. You're going to buy one S&P E-mini futures contract. As of today, the S&P is at 3,800. So you're going to buy it at 3,800 and hope to sell it at 3,810. Now when you buy that contract, it's not going to cost you anything. Your account's going to stay at $5,000, but there's going to be $500 on hold as a margin deposit. Now that trade works out. You sell it for $3,810. So the S&P is $50 a point. So if you buy at $3,800 and sell at $3,810, you've caught 10 points of movement or $10 of movement. That trade will make $500. Now both of those trades would play out probably anywhere from about 5 to 15 minutes intraday. Now the S&P is an entire stock index. Now an individual stock will tend to move more on a percentage basis per day than an entire stock index. So say Tesla has a big day. Say it goes up 10% and you're lucky enough to catch half of it. So you catch a 5% move on Tesla. So you've got your entire $5,000 account plus 10,000 borrowed from the broker tied up in this trade. You buy it for 600, you sell it for 630, that's 5%. You've made $30 a share on 25 shares. 
That 5% move that you caught's made you $750. Now the S&P doesn't move 5% a day very often, but it often moves 1 or 2%. Today it went up 2%. So say you catch half of that 2%, you catch 1%. So you bought the S&P at $3,800, you're going to sell it at $3,838. That trade would take the same amount of time to play out, and it's made you $1,900. And all it's taken up is $500 in margin and whatever open loss might be on the position. The other thing, you can go long or short with the same ease. You don't have to worry if your broker has shares to short. You don't have to worry about paying extra fees to go short. It's all the same. I'm probably going to do a video comparing stocks versus futures versus Forex for day trading. Now, long-term trading, swing trading may be a whole different thing. But I'm a day trader, so I'm talking about day trading. I think a lot of people don't really know about futures or just don't understand them. They're very accessible. They're very liquid. They're traded on a central exchange. To me, they make so much more sense, and they're so much simpler to trade intraday. If you have any questions or comments or video requests, please leave them below. Also, if you'd like, sign up for my free newsletter. There's a link in the description. I'll send you little tips and tricks and the levels I'm looking at in the markets I trade each week. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.